This city never sleeps, never wakes. All it is is a cesspool of villainy and crime ever since. Ever since the waves came. Yeah, this city is like any other corrupted one. And it goes all the way to the top. To the top. This city's like a half frosted toaster strudel. You don't know when the toaster strudel starts and when the pop tart ends. Yeah. This city. How close can you get? Before the illusion's broken? You're going on a journey. All you have to do is follow my voice. Today, we are going on a journey. A journey to a memory you've had before. You've been on this path. Don't stray from it now. Follow me. Together we're going to review a film called Reminiscence. Starring old man Logan Hugh Jackman. Not too bad. Not too bad. Could have been worse. Um, I'm a fan of good noir. Like, really good noir. Um, this was pretty decent, like... Pretty decent neo... What do they call it? Neo-noir? Like, sci-fi noir? But it... <laughs> It did feel like cliched in a way, because I swear to God, every every like every few minutes, it's like the city, uh, the cesspool of crime and villainy. But we're in Miami, so you're like, well, <laughs> is it like Chicago or New York or Boston or something? Like it's just like a flooded version of Miami, and occasionally New Orleans. But just like I don't know, I thought that was funny. So reminiscence uh, came out this year, 2021. Directed by um, a gal. I love it when it's a female director. Uh, Lisa Joy. What has she done? Uh, almost nothing. I shouldn't... That's that's rude. I shouldn't say that. She. This is her first like film directorial debut. She has other directorial credits. Well, like one or two. Um, she directed like one episode of Westworld. But the big thing for about her is that she's been a very big producer and writer on Westworld. So that's why, Hugh Jackman aside, we see some recurring faces that are you might recognize from that show if you if you watch and or enjoy Westworld. Directing wise, like, good, solid stuff. I have no qualms with directing. I think she likes lens flares a lot and I think that she really enjoys playing with light. But I also think that it's an artistic, <laughs> The light in this film is creative and it's an artistic choice what they do with it that also is diegetic to the narrative. But I'll get into that in a moment. So the film, if you saw any trailer for it, what's your first thought? <gasps> it stars Hugh Jackman, a big actor. I'm not even gonna, gonna go down the list of things he's been in. He's, he's, a, he's another household name. He's the greatest showman, fucking that movie. But yeah, Hugh Jackman's the star of it. And the whole thing is that with the other star, Rebecca Ferguson, uh, he he basically meets this gal, and then is like, it can't go, they fall in love, and then she disappears, and he's like, what the hell happened? What's going on? I gotta solve the case. I gotta crack the code. But the whole idea behind the film is that this takes place in a future where I can't tell if it's all of the United States. Maybe I missed that bit because they said there was some like coastal wars, but it seems that like a lot of the coastal cities have gone under. Like the, the, the tides have risen, the waves have come, and a majority of the film takes place in a like mostly, mostly sunken Miami. Like the coastal, coastal parts of it are like almost like halfway underwater. And then the further you get in the city, they somehow put these like indescribable levees up and there's just like, you know, slightly flooded streets and then eventually dry land where the rich people are. A picture water world, but not as severe, essentially. So you have that as your setting. And apparently the road we're going down with this is that uh, the memory is the game. It's very total recall in that Hugh Jackman's character runs a shop. He was in the war and he used to use this machine where you'd put people in it, you know, like put a little bit of tranquilizer in them, put them kind of half under, half not, 
and guide them through a journey through their own memories. And he, in his past, would use that to, like, because he was in the war, so he fought in the war, and then he was also an interrogator. So he would use that to extract memories from people. So he's a smooth talker, and now that the wars are over, he instead uses this technology for profit. So he basically is like, yeah, come relive your memories since the world is shit now. Very Total Recall. Come relive memories. Total Recall, take it back a little bit because that's kind of like, oh, live a life you could have had, but you'll think it's real in your mind, you know, at least for the, for the, for the whole duration of it. With this movie, it's more like you are reliving your direct memories. Like you can't relive what didn't happen. But uh, now he's, he's, he uses that to just, you know, sell the experience of people's, like, good memories to them in lieu of the shitty world they're in now. Then he meets this woman, and then something happens, and she's gone, and he's trying to track her down. So it's like a hunt through people, a hunt through his memories, other people's memories, and getting lost in the pursuit of, like, who was this girl? Who was she when not with me? That's a current motif, that's a recurring motif as well and trying to figure out like who the hell this gal was and where she, what happened to her. And yeah, overall, um, decent premise. I, I liked it enough to want to go see it. And I think that execution was good, but could have been better. I'm a sucker for like good world building and this movie left a lot to be desired in that regard. I would have liked to know more about this world. Like the aesthetic, it's very, if you're not a gamer, it's very Bioshock. The, like the, the the mostly sunken city of the under the mostly sunken underwater city of rapture between the neon and the flooded streets heavy bioshock vibes and as you can tell by my tattoos i love bioshock so that hit a spot for me i love noir hit another spot for me i like hugh jackman that hit, a, it hit you would think all these checks would you know boom bam boom but doesn't have quite the same grip as blade runner <laughs> Not for me. Hugh Jackman and the other gal, Newton, Miss Newton, I butchered your name, but also from Westworld. Uh, she's the other like star. She's like Hugh Jackman's partner, essentially. Um, every main character, primarily those two, but you know, Rebecca Ferguson's the uh, love interest. I really hope it's her because I don't want to be forgetting her name either. But uh, the performances definitely anchor the film for sure. If it was, if it was this same movie with a, with a with a poorer cast, I think it would have suffered much more. But, um, I mean, Hugh Jackman's a, a damn good actor, so he, I mean, they all are. So they, they do a good job of anchoring that. I, I feel for him. I feel for all of them. I mean, he gets a little bit blinded by uh, the, his goals, which is kind of what happens in a film like this. But it all makes sense. I, this is another movie where... Um, unlike Old, which completely butchered it, uh, butchered almost everything about its execution, this movie has some good stuff going for it. Direction, cinematography, although very sun-soaked, because, like I said, I was going to get back to this, the weird thing is, because the city is so fucked up and the coastal this and that, the city has turned nocturnal for reasons that I, are kind of escaping me right now, but, like, when the sun sets, that's when everybody's day starts cool concept sun goes up everybody goes to bed so i kept having to remind myself in certain shots like what do they do oh yeah it's not the middle of the day it's the middle of the night so neat concept kind of adds i wanted this to be all feel very dreamy disorienting i wanted it to kind of be like inception where there might be some points where you're like what the fuck is actually real or what's a memory and they there could have been like a lot of chances to uh to play around with that more and they kind of had a few little surprise wake up moments where it's like oh that was a memory not actually happening but that still meant it was happening but like total recall did they're like what's real what's not is this who i am is it not what is my life it would have been cool reminiscence kind of with the noir aspect like if they really delved into hugh jackman's character and they made it so that like not just he was obsessed with the pursuit of this woman, but like, did this woman ever exist maybe? Or like, is he going crazy trying to find this mystery woman who maybe people don't recall? Or people are like, oh no, she's gone, she's dead, whatever. Like, it would have been cool if they kind of played with that sanity aspect, because it seems like he's becoming unhinged a little bit in the movie, but not all the way. And there could have been some good potential there for that, I think. Sure, I get that daylight's supposed to be like nighttime for the sake of this film, but like a lot of these shots, especially in the memories, are all kind of sun-soaked which not a bad thing i just like it's a choice that i could take or leave you know i, I just 
I'm, I'm picking at this point, I'm sorry. Soundtrack, usual stuff, nothing special. Um, the action scenes, when there are, when there is action, I mean, it's very, like, noir. You go here, something happens. You go there, something happens. Uh, you know, there's, like, a, a, like one decent shootout here. There's, a, like, a halfway decent fist fight there. I never felt like there were any real stakes, although I was kind of surprised with how the narrative resolution happens by the end. Um, they go for some interesting little, like, narrative uh, twists here and there. So, I mean, I don't think anything's mishandled. I think I think it was a good movie. I think it just could have been done even better. There's a lot of potential where if they got some even better writers and, like, they really went to town on this thing, they could have made this into, like, the next Inception, possibly. Because you watch the trailer for Reminiscence and you get heavy, like, Inception vibes. But it's like... You know, if they made Inception into a noir film, this could have been it, but it didn't quite get there. And again, it's like it's like I'm scolding a, 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 like my fu future kid or whatever. I'm like, I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. But yeah, I don't have much else to say. I think you don't need to go see this one in theaters. The reviewers definitely don't think you do. You need to. <laughs> um, I don't think, you know what? I disagree with Rotten Tomatoes though. I don't think, I, I don't wanna take a shit on this movie. I've seen worse movies than this. I think this movie did a, a decent job with its premise. Again, I just think it's a wasted premise. Narratively speaking, it could have been more depth and just like, I want there to be more, I want it to be more grounded, even being a sci-fi. Like, I don't want you just to go, it felt like we were just like, went here, went here, did this, did that. And the investigation just came together. I felt like it was hardly an investigation so much as just like, kind of milling through people's memories and slowly figuring stuff out. I don't know. It's, uh, there were cool aspects to it. And overall production, like production design and quality was up there. I mean, I, I 100% believe we were in a sunk, like a sunken city. It was pretty, pretty good in that regard, but I would rent it. I don't think I would buy it and I don't plan on seeing it again anytime soon. I wouldn't be opposed to watching it maybe at some point in the future, but I think that Reminiscence on the whole is just a solid, a solid three out of five. I'd say it's average. It's an average film that doesn't do anything extraordinary, but it could've, it could've. Oh, we, we, were this, we were so close to greatness, this close. We were on the verge of greatness. We were this close. So yeah, overall, um, that's Reminiscence. It's, <laughs> It's, it's definitely a neo-noir, uh, sci-fi noir, whatever you want to call it. Decent premise. It's saved and grounded by the great cast in it. I don't think you're wasting your time seeing it. I, I had a decent time seeing it, uh, but I'm just sad because it could have been better. And uh, I wish it was better, but yeah, three out of five. Maybe check it out. But that's all I have to say about Reminiscence, honestly. I mean, there's probably more to go into. I think there, I think there were definitely characters that were wasted. There were characters that were literally introduced and then, like, utilized for maybe a few minutes of film just to advance the narrative. And then there's, like, a core cast of, what, one... Or arguably, like, one, two, three, what, four people in the core, core cast. And there's some ancillary characters that help to propel the narrative alone, but are just there to do that it felt like they were more like plot devices which you don't want your characters in a movie to feel like plot devices <laughs> reminiscence give it a go but maybe skip the theaters in this one so what you think you disagree by all means have at it in the meantime stay tuned stay tuned <clears throat> stay tuned for the next review that i do that sounded pretty shitty right i don't know i'll see in the next movie review i gotta go chase a memory lead, I don't know. I'll see you. Bye, bye travelers.